and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, I'm going to answer a viewer question, which I actually often get quite a bit. And this one came from Arlene Wiggins, who asked, she just purchased a spider plant on sale from a big box store and it has brown spots on the leaves. Is there anything she can do to get rid of the brown spots? So my, my answer to her was, you can't get rid of spots on leaves, but you can prevent them ones from coming in the future and you can cut them off. When you cut them off, you stimulate new growth, which will hopefully be healthy growth, providing that you're uh, the, 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 the plant has good growing conditions in the first place. Okay, so that being said, here is a anthurium. And anthuriums are well known for getting leaf spots. So you can see this leaf spot here, pretty prominent there. A lot of times the spotting on a lot of uh, foliage, especially if it's on the side or especially even in the middle of the leaf, it's usually a fungal pathogen of some sort. So the anthuriums are prone to a leaf blight that will occur. Really important to prevent it is to water properly. So not over water or under water because both can cause that problem in some leaves depending on the plant. I do have a care video on anthurium, but for this purposes of this, just answering this question is can I get rid of the spots that were there. So unfortunately, it's not like a stain on a piece of furniture that maybe you could get off if you do put on a certain liquid and scrub it, etc. With leaves, once they're damaged, they're damaged and they will remain that way until they drop off or until you kill the, cut them off. I was going to say kill them, <laughs> until you cut those those leaves off so and and something like um, that you believe is a leaf spotting from a blight from a fungal pathogen uh, as mentioned which will appear on leaves generally inside the leaf or something like taking over this part of the leaf in that case you do want to prune it out all the way and get it out of there because you don't want, if there is some pathogen on it, to spread to the rest of the plant. So also good idea when you do that, put that right here for now, when you do that, also good to sterilize your pruners uh, in between plants. So say you have a few plants that have leaf spotting, in between plants with one part bleach to nine parts water. So that could mean nine tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of bleach, or depending on how much of the, the of the, such a cleaning solution you need. A lot of times you don't need a whole bunch if you're just doing a few house plants, right? Okay, so keeping that in mind, the rest of the plant looks good, but you would want you just go ahead and and then look at the plant, make sure you don't see anything else, any other spotting, that kind of thing. But otherwise, it looks good. So it's a really good uh, thing to, to do. Now, another thing that will happen is leaf tip burn. I have videos on leaf tip burn, what to do about that. That will occur on the ends of leaves, as you can see on the end of this Dracaena here. Get a close up for you a little bit more so you can see it's kind of out of the picture a little bit, but you get an idea. You can see that brown leaf tip and you've probably seen brown leaf tips on your own plants as well. So brown leaf tips are not ideal uh, and they aren't going to get green again either. You can easily cut them off. I'm not going to use these because I used it on the, the leaf, but you can easily cut them off. I show you how to do that in a video as well. And keep in mind with the right techniques in terms of taking care of the plant that it's going to have a less chance of having brown leaf tips. Uh, this plant was recently repotted so in the for for the most part it's doing really well not really a lot of brown leaf tips there make sure to water correctly that will prevent it as well so once again it can't get rid of it but you can't cut it off or cut the tip off in the case of brown leaf tips you can just cut the tip off and then when the new foliage that comes in is going to be more likely to be healthy providing your uh, providing the 
plant with all that it requires to have healthy growth, I do have video on Dracaena care as well. Another thing that can happen, and I have video on this, is sunburn. A sunburn will occur in the middle of a leaf. Uh, this is Matilda. She's in a, a fiddle leaf fig revival series, and she has had, was burned a little bit. I explained how that happened because the person who had lent her to me actually um, burned her by accident. So let me see if I can get this into the shot here as well. She's a little on the big side. So we'll grab her and she's growing really well otherwise. Okay, but you can see a little browning up right there that part that i'm putting right in the camera here so you see this brown it's a brown cast over the leaf there so that is right in here and there's even some in the front leaf as well so that was where she got a little bit of a burn so that's a burn that's not going to change unfortunately the plant is going to continue to grow this way but she's put on since that little snafu uh, you can see some really pretty leaves there in the top there where she's growing some nice foliage uh, for you to to take a, to, to take a look at there and uh, you can see that um, I put it down more here so the top leaves look very healthy because she was taken out of the wrong kind of light and she's doing fine so you'll just you just kind of have to live with those leaf spots live with the brown leaf spots from the sunburn or the fungal pathogen or the leaf tip burn although with the fungal pathogens the leaf spotting is best to cut them out now if you find that oh geez i have to cut the whole plant out because it's all covered that's not what you want to do what you would want to do is you would want to cut out only a portion up to one third at a time let some new foliage come in look at some of my videos on how to prune so that the plant will then quickly regrow new foliage and wait for that new foliage to come in as mentioned take really good care of the plant the way it needs to be taken care of so that it grows really good pretty foliage and then go ahead and take out some of more of that old growth that has the spotting or the discoloration in terms of sunburn or uh, and leaf tip burn is kind of different so in terms of sunburn there uh, that would be how you deal with that and then for the uh, leaf spotting you you still want to take out the really bad leaves and then up to a third of the plant let some grow then take out some more so just be careful with that as mentioned, it generally comes from improper watering, either not enough watering or too much water. So there you go with what to do with uh, the um, that uh, the leaf tip, leaf tip, the sunburn, leaf spotting, etc. This plant was another one that before I wanted to show you this one because before this plant was gotten from the nursery in not too good of a condition. I tend to, as you know, if you watch some of my videos, save plants all the time. And this one was looking a little peaked, but since then it's doing really well. Now, back in the day, I don't know if I have it in videos or not, but it was, there was leaf spotting and leaf tip burn and sunburn, etc. And you can see now by growing the plant properly, it was recently repotted as well, that it is doing really well. So the leaves are shiny and bright and vibrant and green and there's very little leaf. I thought I saw somewhere a little bit of a leaf tip. Yeah, one little spot here that's still there, but it's so insignificant that you don't even really notice it. I can cut it off if um, I might do that, but it's very small. And then, yeah, I see a couple here and there, but for the most part, this plant is really doing well. So that's what you do. You get, you get, you solve the leaf, spotting problem you grow the plant as it needs to be grown and then you cut out slowly and one day no one will even know that the plant had a problem and it will look really nice like this this is a croton so there you go thank you for stopping by today please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see remember to like comment subscribe and share this video and please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.